Hello everyone, and welcome back to Val Brothers. I am your host, Lorthorn, and well, let's get into this crusade. Destroying more buildings. My goodness. When will my crimes stop? I could have I already destroyed some of these things. Oh well. Let's get going. They're not going to burn and pillage themselves. Now are they? Eesh. Gotta be slightly careful around here. This is like a conflict zone, see? There's the 11th company and the 12th. We're actually meant to destroy patrols while we're out and about, aren't we? I don't know if those count as patrols, though. Nope. If I could catch out one of them. Just one, though. Don't want both. You see, they're separate now. So we could take this one, then we could go beg the second one, and just wipe out two companies that would outnumber me normally, and get away with some pretty good, well, warfare. Ooh, crossbow on a hill. Rude. Arbalist on a hill. Oh no. All right. We can't have any of that now, can we? New Arbalists. That's why I hand her. Let's just fill that man full of holes. Can't get clear shot. Okay. Come on, Cicero. You're better than this. Well, that guy's not much of a threat. He, like, barely scraped her armor. Okay. Oh, wow. That was a good one. That was a very good one. Okay. And, well, let's just take the fight to them. Or I start the work. Did someone level up that I failed to level up? I don't know. Anyways, let's uh, go over here. Oh, and if you're wondering what happened with the Lindworm, I um, decided it was best to run away. <laughs> I um, encountered it with a mercenary company, and I sent the mercenary company ahead of me to see how they'd fare, if they could like weaken them. Mercenary company got absolutely slaughtered, and uh, none of the Lindworms fell or were even vaguely injured. And it's like, no, no, thank you. I'm not finding six Lindworms. That is three Lindworms too many for this company. Like, I could take on three Lindworms, and I could take on three Lindworms, but not six all at once. That's just too much of a stack of death for, I think, any company really to handle. Unless they're, like, insane. Like, maybe the Adventurers or something, but... Not me. Maybe if I had the right gear for it, like I switched everyone to pull arms and everyone was skilled enough to use pull arms, maybe then I could manage it. Okay, got a knight here. Take a knight on. There we go. This is why Hander is handled. There's a standard bear. Very rude. And there's a pikeman. Looks like Siegfried's going to have a bit of trouble here. Alright. Ooh, the crossman's trying to hit my back lines now. The cheek. Oh. Cheeky, cheeky booger. Let's hit their back lines. This is a fine engagement. Stun's a little annoying. Alright. Uh, you. Just deal with that there. There we go, Cicero. Get that knight. Sir Lancel, is it? Sir Lauren. Ah. Oop, missed him. There we go. You can just wrap Hammer Bros or Hammer Bro and Zis. Hammer siblings? I don't know. Okay. Take out the auxiliary support there. Spookums. And. Wow. That was a lot of shields. Just. Well, I'll take it. Hooah! Kapow. Not bad. Okay. And we'll reach over. Noise. Noise. Okay. Shield still holding. Very good. Very good. Okay. Advance the banner forwards. And divide and conquer, as they say. Whatcha? Oh, silly man. Got a shield in the way. Okay. Maybe I could get like a really heavy sword for taking on big beasties to 
arm Siegfried with. Crusader swords are good and all, but if it's like giant monsters, maybe we want like a super hefty Zyhand or even an orc sword just to do that punchy, punchy, heavy hits against it. There we go, gone. Oh man, this part of the song is so loud. Okay, here. Little horn, little horn swoggle. Alright then. Uh, snipe past, I guess. There, that's one of them. Oh wow, these are some snipes. Oh, very light hit against this. Um, very, very light hit. Okay. And, oh wow. A knight's tail. Did our... I guess we got that from... A minstrel killing a knight. That's kind of fun. I didn't realize that was an achievement. I'll have to go look at the achievements and see. Well, let's, let's check it out. Oh, you can't see the overlay. Um, oh, let's just kill a knight. I've done that before. Oh, right, I'm playing on a borrowed account. So usually I play on my brother's account, but right now I'm borrowing the game, so all the achievements, I guess, are going to reset for me? Huh. That's something you can't see at all, so I'm not sure why I'm mentioning it. But it's just kind of interesting. It's like, wait, why, am I, why am I getting these achievements? This is awfully peculiar. Very, very awfully peculiar. Okay, we want to cycle through all them, and... Finish off that banner, man. Yep, no, I'm getting tons of achievements, but they're all on the borrowed account. All right, first company down, and now second one is running this way. You can see their footprints. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so many achievements. They're really high tier ones too. Uh. I kind of would rather take these guys on at night. So we'll just... I mean, during the day. Go ahead and camp for the moment. Get a little bit of camping done. And get back to tracking them. There we go. Now we're going to hit this company. There we are. Taking out these two companies I think will definitely help in the war. Sir Hindebard. Oh. Impressive looking fella. A lot of pole arms in the back this time. Fencer, footman. Alright, reasonable, reasonable. One arbalist. Okay. They're just holding. I guess I'm the aggressor here. Oh, there's the first bouncing footman. I guess they're letting the footman shield line go forwards on us. That's totally fine by me. I'll let them take the advance. They're going to slowly go forward to get cover. All that good stuff. So, we'll give it to them. Inspiration. Don't know if that will work as intended, but we'll see. Alright, everyone wait. Let's let them make their act now. I mean, besides you, of course. We'll just shoot the knight. Alright, there's the fence. Oh, wow, the fencer is fast AF. AFFFF. Well. Oh. Try and knock him off our front line and rent him with just all of our arrows. They're like, oi, what are you doing? Back off! Pew, 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 pew. Just shredding him. No closer, buckaroo, no. Hutcha, nothing. Okay, and here come the. Oh, the hammer, sir. The hammer of their military is holding back. Okay. Interesting choice. That'd yeah, be interesting. We can actually reset our lines with that. I mean, on this side. Should probably stagger forward slightly here. Should have moved her forward. Oh well. Get rid of that thing. And let's. Oop. Little, little cheeky tab over. Move up into here. Get him there. And then, well, of course. Bonk. There we go. Sort of horseshoe them in. The old horns of the bull, as they call it. Let's shoot there, our blister. Shielding him up. 
Ooh, ooh. Shoulder injury. That's, that's rubbish. A little hit to the head. That's danger there. That's right danger. Okay. Here comes the knight. Oh, wow. We're, we're really going strong on him. Going fast and hard. Okay, we'll get rid of their archer. Start taking out their banner carrier. Arrow after arrow. Just into the press. And, wow, that man's really shielding up. Really, real turtle fest. Okay, haunt the knight. And, there we go. Got through him. Do not like those guys. Okay, that's a hit there. Send out your war dog. May need to tank some shots. Right. And in we go. Good hit. Uh, you can hold. Knight's unstunned. Dash in here. Split. And strike. And... You... You're not going to get act anyway, so wrap into the flank. And now uh, you strike him there. Good dog. Okay, his shield tank that. See where this hammer falls? Good. Another shield tank. It's raising up. Or I'm showing him he has to use his shield. Nice overreach there. Alright. Little cut. Stun incoming. Okay, just a mace hit to the head. Reduced damage. Oh, brutal. Hate that moth eye. Bonk. How? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Gain them good. Shielding up. It's a valid tactic. Very valid tactic. Move forward. Uh, make that really weird noise. Guess it's disorienting. Okay. Get rid of that shield. There we go. And. Good hit. Advance in. Complete surround. Hello. I'm in your back lines. No, ooh, right there. Ooh, that's a broken, broken fella. Ooh, well, even broken, he's still a proficient fighter. Okay. Okay, grounding. Wow, dog just went through that guy like he was Swiss cheese. Turned him into a fine mist. Alright, this knight is going down. Yeah. Just one more hit. There we go. Bards claim two knights now. My goodness. More minstrel. Alright. Uh, claiming the good armor. Could take these military vlogs. They're quite hefty items, aren't they? Uh, Alright, well, let's get rid of these arrow stacks. Take those two vlogs. And... I guess they're more accurately, these are quivers. That just happen to have arrows. Alright, this cap here. There we go. Let's go to the old scrap midden now. The old workshop. Workshop ado. Alright. Things to recycle. This shield, this thing here. This old gnarled up armor. That here, this little pike thing. That helmet's in poor condition. Basically anything that's really low condition. We can just start cycling out. Uh, right, like a lot of this stuff's actually pretty good and we could sell though. That bow is worth some nice parts. Uh, fire spear, I want to hold on to it just in case someone comes along that will want to wield it. That sword if repaired would be nice, but we're not going to get around to it. Same with this thing, same with that bow. It's not going to bother repairing them, so we're going to scrap them. Is the basic idea. Anything below like 75% will scrap. So that thing there, this here, that sword. Uh, no, it's even in the state, it's actually worth quite a bit of money. Now, this thing here, though, basically worth nothing. Same with this helmet, it has worth a lot of parts when scrapped. That here, this here, this. 
All below 75% at armor. Both sets of this stuff. Um, yep, that Arbalest day. And this mace just isn't worth the time. Alright. Good, we got him. Has two patrols handled. Oh, that's a survive supply caravan. Is that the group we're raiding, though? Oh. That is not the group we are raiding. Um, I mean, we're at, it's an all-out war, but we're at war with all three houses. Okay. Well, I'm afraid a hedge knight and mercenaries. Mercenary archers. And fighters. Okay. Okay. Wow, that hedge knight. That's an impressive looking helmet. Mercenaries, interesting gear they're wearing, mix of bag of armors. This is, that's the cool thing about mercenary companies when you fight them, is they're, they all have the cohesion of a lot of other units. They sort of got like just whatever there is available to them. So you're like, oh, that's kind of cool. Of course, they're also not super tough at this point. The tier to which my company is, is far superior to theirs. So it's just really no contest of superiority. Alright, let's go to there. In moves the Hedge Knight. Going to inspire a Crusader, a man of God, versus a fully armored knight. Battle of the Century. I guess Hedge Knight. A little different than a fully armored knight. It's kind of a different fight altogether, if you think about it. Alright. Got these guys here fairly handled. So we'll just charge in, charge in, and start the carnage. There we go. Blabonk. In advance. Little crossbow bolts. Going to be incoming. There we go. And a little stab over the shoulder. Cheeky little stab. And there's a net. That's irritating. There's those arrows. Also irritating. She's just going to swing her stick at them. Alright. Uh, step forward, crossbow. Wheel there. And, oops, that was wrong, but I meant to reload. Uh, got pretty good cover there, the little git. Same with him. Oh, how annoying. I'm going to just get that guy. Ah, oh, my poor shoulder. Oh, we'll get him good. Bonk. Okay, you just break free of that and say, Oi, why'd you throw a net at me? It's very rude. Angles. That's what we call that. Oh, wow. A surrounding stun. Cheeky. Definitely cheeky. Got him. Got him to rights. Gum did. Right. Those weapons are actually pretty good crowd control, then. Got that CC, as my friends like to say. I just kind of hate it now that I know what CC is. Crowd control. So it's not crowd control. You're stunning a guy. Or disabling. Call it what it is, not CC. Call it a stun. Ugh. Stupid mopas. Gotta stop playing them. Take up too much time. Time could be spending playing Battle Brothers or Minecraft. Or a host of other video games that I'm certain exist out there somewhere in the world. You know? That's what now, just spend all my time playing Dota. And pushing and pulling creeps. And so I can't sleep. Ah, speed out of Dota. You know? Okay, you gobsnotting snickersnackers. Let's get your whiffle ball batted. Well, that was sad. Get him. Heavy hits, heavy health, less movement. And the poke. Is he going to go three for three against the knights? Probably not. Someone else is probably going to fish and close that out. Light attack, light attack. And let's just see them try to run. 
There should be like a commissar thing, which is if your companion runs, you kill him. And then his um, everyone else here comes, he's like, Ugh! and they get morale. It could be like Russian mercenaries. <laughs> that sounds wrong. They can never have steady, but they don't break after that. Yeah. Something along those lines. All right. Merchant takes down Hedge Knight. What are the answers? What are the odds? I mean, what are the chances? Ooh, I really want those items. Well, just this helmet, actually. I want to break it down, dissect it, and look at the pieces. Mmm, yes. Um, all well, these things are actually quite valuable. I happen to be carrying, especially that heater shield. Ooh, very nice. This feather, though, can go. All right. Brilliant. Return in three days. We gotta go all the way up there. My what? Been at this for almost 20 minutes now. And I'm already taking out three enemy units. Can we spend this night to camp? Get some of this scrapping done. Let's get some of those repairs completed. All right, there we go. Create tools from pieces of equipment. That'll give us a little more space to manage. Only got two days left though. I have to act. A workshop, oh my. Now the workshop is defended. That's for certain. Oh, I forgot to level people up. We'll get them next time. All right, how's your armor looking? Your armor, everyone's armor is pretty good. Okay, that's grand. Got two Zweihanders, um, two Billmen, Standard Bearer, no Captain. All right, okay. Should I probably actually go for the Slinger? How oh, with my injured shoulder though, makes archery a little bit more difficult. But losing your backliner, that really hurts the old morals. There we go. Now we can actually make shots with. Decent precision without that freaking ghost in the way. God, I hate that thing. Okay. And, man, what a smug looking face that guy has. Smug little face. Let's look at. Rinse and repeat pattern, I reckon. Yep. Okay. Going to hit that guy, though. Just charge in like a nutter. Everyone else. I'm going to let them get to me this time. You know? Except for this guy. He I'm gonna hit. Everyone else, I can just walk up. As much as I like. Let's see how they handle that. Because I used to do things, shield wall with spears and shields in front. It's pretty decent. Although I probably should have upgraded the shields to like more than just round shields and various other things. I had a very rudimentary understanding of tactic and it switched and having heavy hitters, like even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, kind of spread out throughout the ranks. And I'm starting to think that you want like people throwing javelins and using nets all the time and various other things now. Really starting to figure out and learn the strategies for this game. Definitely does develop over time. Now we wait. Wait for their action. And now we strike! Ooh, right into the liver. That's the most precious of organs. And it was actually in medieval times. Your liver was very important. It contained, like, your power or something. I had a hip shooter. Just took out two guys. I guess they're like, pow, pow! It's fun seeing all these achievements. Too bad you can't share in them. Because they're mine. I guess they're, like, really advanced. Otherwise, I'll just keep shooting at you. You have to wither all my arrows. Maybe they're just trying to use them my ammunition or something. Oh, wouldn't that be funny? Guess they're going to advance now. By then, I'll be gone! And here they come. Ew, I wasn't ready to retaliate. Eep! I'm in danger. Archers exposed, go get them. Like, real danger. Oh my goodness. Ow! Back off, you blaggart bastard. That hurt and split. Never let splits get near the archers. All right, 
batter these guys to pulp. Don't give them any chances. Ow, 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 pain. Suffering. Oh, you're going down now. I'm not letting a single one of you retreat. No, sorry. Right into them. Go get them. Just got them to ribbons. Okay, that was a miss. I said to ribbons, not misses. Eesh, get the message. Like a soul. And keep smacking into them. You get, you hurt my archer. The only person allowed to hurt archers is me. Get him, dog. Right. And another dog. Get him. And another dog. Wait a minute. Sigfrey's not a dog. Ha <laughs> ha. Rabbit. All the same. Get him, boys. Yeah. Get him good. Okay. Ow. Rude. Go get him, pooch. Okay. And your position's kind of stuck. Stuck, 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 stuck. Everyone's just engaging. Miss. Oh dear. Let's finish him like that. And another dog. Okay, Spirit. You can do it. Go Team Spirit, speaking of Dota. They won. The International. Spoilers. This will be out long after that, don't worry. Okay. Very, very rude. You shall be very ashamed of yourselves. Uh. I'm going to take this thing, I think. I need a pull hammer. I need to scrap more stuff, my goodness. Okay. And this hat. There we go. Now we... Go just past them here. With absolutely no conflict. And we sneak up this way. And we camp for the night. Try scrap stuff. We recover a few supplies. We're doing no fun. All right. Talk. Um, let's see. You see, Nevermores have marched far and wide. John chose Wiley to fit himself in your ranks. Um, how much were you paid for this? Both John and you stay with us. Um, all right. I just got an assassin. That was expensive, but I'm not losing good old Janel. Which one's Janel? Um, Angus the Hound, Siegfried, Janel. Yeah, I'm definitely not losing Janel the Bastard. I'll take an assassin. Slip him to the back for now. Yes. Uh, what's this one? Threads of Fate. It's another huey one. Mind over body. Bound between Var grows strong, passing time. A percentage of the Valen's incoming health damage is dealt to Warren instead, up to max. Warren also gains a scaling damage bonus. Uh, armor runes. Yep. Armor runes. <laughs> Gotta give her that. Yep. Okay, now what do we want to do with an assassin? He's got the rolling dagger. Did I have him pick up like an assassin's knife or anything? Where are his perks? He's got a lot of them. Okay, he can't learn. He can be a colossus. He can also deal crippling strikes. You can get full musculature. Alright. Let's go with that. So, Colossus. But we're also wanting to be dodgy and quick, you know? So. Dodge. And these skills here. Nah. But we take alert. Ho ho. And he's all sneaky like. Can we give him. Dagger Mastery? I mean, that's a lot of attacks with a dagger. So we give him Dagger Mastery, and it's like, uh oh, better look out. Double Strike will allow him hit really hard. Unarmed Lunge, eh. Sundering Strike. 
clarity, heightened reflexes. Uh, what's this do? Train to avoid arrows. Gain base tenth as initiative. Gain base range defense. All right. You have trained skill translate to dodging blades. You gain your base range defense as initiative with a maximum bonus of three. Hmm. Oh, music swelling. Uh, they are enemy mercenaries. How dare you? Oh, backstabber, of course. I want to take advantage of situations. All right. Now his perks. I want him like he's a hefty boy. So, I'm going to make him hefty. Like his initiative's going to be high. He's going to be able to land these hits. He's also going to have HP. Because he's got that musculature, so he can hit really, really hard, actually, if we let him. Up that defense there. There we go. Also make him quite hard to hit. Ooh, that's a lot of HP this time. Five initiatives, quite nice. Um, initiative, attack, defense this time. Not going to take the HP just this not. So that's like seven more damage. 10%. So. Seven more damage. Pretty good. And he's got um, six skill points used. Okay. Can't train him anymore. He's quick. He's loyal. You find out we took him. Um, he's got a double tongue, has a chance of being depressed. Oh. Besides that, yeah, this guy. It's an assassin. Very good fighter. Base attributes, as their attributes improved every level current level to 11. Yeah. His initiative makes his defense quite good. Of course, his gear could be better. The scar. I mean, it's not a knife. It allows you to lunge, though, and split. It's two-handed, though. We could actually probably... Yeah, we could have given him a skier. He could be a skier assassin. But I like the dagger. Rolling daggers are a cool weapon. Uh... Okay. Well, I'll give him a helmet, but not too heavy of a helmet. So... Minus 10 fatigue. So that doesn't even reduce his initiative all that much. If that one was 10, this thing is... 12. Um, the feathered cap definitely affects it. 12, 10. So, that's 10. This is 9. This is 16. What's this armor? 23. 31. I'm confused to wear this. Definitely reduces initiative. But I make him able to fight some. Minus 23. Hmm. Minus 23. I mean, it's not terrible. It's also his fatigue, though, is only 80, so we have to be careful with him. Because that reduces it to 60, which is oof. I want to be at 60. One attack with a dagger takes how much? Six fatigue. So he gets like 10 attacks, I guess. And you recover percentile. Yeah, he can wear that armor for now. Even assassins can be clunky. Until we get him nimble. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Oops, nope. And your job will be. Sometimes this side is a little slow. This side's actually feeling pretty solid, but. No, this side's actually. Really... They got sick feet on. No, this side needs the backup. So your job is just to creep forward and get him, you know? Ah, oh, yes. Now let's, uh. Time to get a move on. Oh, I guess I could assign him to scouting as well. Which will be very nice. 
Uh, let's see. Scouting, scouting, scouting. Can't assign the assassin to scouting now. And then... For our boy with the blade, we can find a more appropriate job for him. He's kind of worthless at everything, isn't he? Um... Wow. I mean, he's not great at scouting, but it might be one of the best spots for him to be. Uh, my goodness, you are a worthless merchant. Alright, Fletching, so I'll put you to that. Speaking of runes, though, enchantments. Um, armor rune of resilience makes you immune to stuns, knockbacks, and grabs. Safety increases hit points. Endurance gives you fatigue retire. Wow. Craft me some of those, lady. Okay. With that underway, I could attack this hunter's cabin. Very tempting, but I think I'll do that next time. So, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video where we attack this hunter's cabin and proceed towards our goal of having 100,000 gold, which we are set back by the assassin, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. Yeah, catch you then.